Let's head now to Penghu for a look at the innovative exploits of Master Fish Farmer. Dai Quen Cai made history in 1995 when he artificially inseminated giant groupers. Since then, he's turned his hand to many fish, always searching for new ways to make fish rearing more effective. Yellow gourd groupers are lifted from their rearing tank. Their bright yellow fins are very cute, but they're not to be underestimated. These so-called dream groupers have been reared through artificial insemination. We predicted that if we continue raising giant groupers or brown marble groupers, big profits are not possible. So in 2015, we switched to our current fish, blue and yellow gourd groupers. Fish farmer Dai Kunsai gave us a thorough tour of the farm and explained how the fish are raised. In 1995, he became the first person in the world to artificially inseminate giant groupers. He's dedicated himself to refining the techniques of aquaculture. Now he's managed to raise blue and yellow gourd groupers in their thousands in these net pens. It's a first for fish farming in Penghu. To use net pens, you need a bay. There are lots of bays in Penghu. Last year, when we got several thousand fish for a trial, it just so happened a cold wave came in. Our blue gourd groupers were there, and in the end, our contractor told me the day the cold wave arrived, the cobia fish died. But surprisingly, the blue gourds could still eat their food. Dai is still not satisfied with his current techniques. He's now researching methods to rear the humphead wrasse, an endangered species. <laughs> We're collaborating with National Pingdong University of Science and Technology. Our goal is mass production, which means many hundreds of thousands of fish. Dai has made aquaculture his life's work, and in the process, he's put Taiwan on the map as one of the most innovative countries for new fish farming technologies.